Hey guys, we're back. We're gonna have a little session for the 420 Bible study and Torah tour. We're gonna be in Matthew 19. We'll pick it up right there after we do our offering, of course, to say thank you, Hashem, for sending your son in the form of flesh because he now is the endocannabinoid system and you can add fire to the branch and breathe it. It's not just good for food, clothing, and shelter because it's hemp. So as we go back in time, we're going back 2,000 years, plus add on another 1,500 years with Moses at Mount Sinai at that point at 1400 BC. We're going back and covering some time. So verse 19 in Matthew says this, and it's very important to understand the translation between the Hebrew and Greek, so I found. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the Torah law, and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace. Now, there's a footnote on the word yet. Now, I don't know why I would look there, but I do. And it says in the footnote, it says, 19, or was a righteous man. Interesting. Righteous means the branch because it's the righteous branch. So actually, I think the intoxicating aroma was with Joseph as well that gave him the vision that he could say, wait, the angel of the Lord came to him in a dream because he would accept the dreams. He accepts the thoughts. I accept my thoughts now and talk to myself rationally. I haven't lost my mind because I'm following what the Torah says, the law. I'm faithful. And that's what Jesus says, doesn't he? He says, hey, my true and faithful witness. I don't tell a lie because cannabis is a truth serum and I'm faithful to the Torah law, willing and voluntarily. No one told me to do this. I was prompted by being saved from the plant because I'm, well, you guys get the point. All right, here's the last thing. So the flip is, now he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son and then he named him Jesus, or Emmanuel. But it goes to Isaiah 7.14. So I want to flip over to Isaiah 7.14 real quick, if we can. There it is. And see what it says on a quick flip as we study. Because I Listen, I'm a coach. I'm going to study. So this is the sign of Emmanuel. And we'll do a 7.14, and then we'll do another tour of the sign. But verse 14 says... Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The fact that I'm healed? Yeah. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a kid, and you will call him Emmanuel. He will be eating curds and honey when he knows enough to reject the wrong and choose the right. And that's the key part. He will be eating curds and honey, milk and honey, cane, my cane bosom. That's when I woke up and said, wait, you did all this and you have the entire system? But before the boy knows enough to reject the wrong and choose the right, the land of the two kings you dread will be laid waste. Gets confusing after that. But we have it. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Jesus Christ is the Greek form. Hebrew is the God of Israel. Baruch Hashem.